Hello and welcome to part 3 of our input field exploits module. I am working with few assumptions here that you have a prerequisite knowledge of following tools and software. If you don't, please check out the resources mentioned at the end of this video. This is our model structure and we are on part 3 that is POC creation. Our target software for this module is Windows 7 SP1 x86 and on that we will be running Axe SSH version 4.2 in which multiple fields were found to be vulnerable to buffer overflow. However, we will be targeting the log file name field for our exploit. So a POC or proof of concept is a simple script or program to replicate the crash that we found in the last part. It can be written in any language of your choice, be it C, C++, Java, Python or any other language that is out there. I will be using Python for this module and this POC is enhanced further to create a working exploit. So let's move to the lab and create a working proof of concept and replicate the crash in the application. So much of the work for this part of video was done in the last part wherein we created the script to generate a first string. So all we need to do is modify certain variables or other variable names, give it a look of a POC script rather than a fuzzing script. So we'll first change this first string to evil string. Evil string and let's write a comment here saying POC for x ssh version 4.2 log file name and then we'll save it now let's run this poc and generate a string of 500 days which is already here let's copy it now let's open eminent debugger and test if this string is working which essentially we know is already working but for the sake of completion of this video let's go ahead and test it so i'll go to eminent debugger file and in the recent files i'll click on this to launch axe ssh application then i'll run it And uh, since we are targeting log file name field, let's go to that. So we'll press on details, settings, logging tab, and select log all session output. And in this field, let's paste the generated string. Press OK and OK here. And you can see that application has crashed and EIP has been overwritten with 41, 41, 41, 41 which is hex for capital A and ESP has also been overwritten with our target string or with our test string. Great. So that means our POC is working. In the next part, we'll see how we can gain the control of the execution flow of this application. These are the few learning resources you can use to learn more about the tools and techniques that we are using in this module. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next part.